Hi, today we have an Acer's laptop on the bench. Customer complaint is that the machine is just randomly switching off while she's using it. Let's just power on the laptop. Windows is loading. The machine is very dirty, I can see on the screen and around the keyboard. Okay, so as you can see, without running any software, when the apps were already hitting around the 100 degree Celsius, in fact, the maximum will hit 106. This is a Ryzen 5, so the machine definitely overheating. Can't hear any cooling fans running. So let's take this thing apart and let's service the cooling system. Okay, so the back cover is off, and as we can already see, things like this so this could actually just jam up the fan stop the fan from turning this fan design is a little bit strange it sort of sits in the middle of the laptop blows across the board blows across the heatsink of the processor and out this vent here so hopefully with just removing all this dust replacing the thermal compound for the CPU cooler this laptop will run cooler and not go into thermal shutdown. Okay, so taking a closer look at the fan. Unfortunately, there are some plastic rivets around here. Some fans do have some screws and you can take them apart, get them clear, maybe put a drop of oil. This one, we can't do that. So we're going to clean it as best as we can. If I need to, I suppose I could just grind off the top of these rivets we did buy this new grinding pencil from Aliexpress maybe we will try it out and there we go the cover is out we have left enough plastic there maybe we could just remount the plastic with the soldering iron to reattach the, the cover okay so let's get the thermal compound changed on the CPU just take it outside give it a quick dust I don't want this fluff all over my workshop okay the laptop is a lot cleaner now obviously before you do any work on the motherboard disconnect your battery there's a metal clasp here that goes that way. You need to unclip that first before you remove this plastic. Otherwise you'll rip the connector off the motherboard. And then you'll be in a world of hurt. Right, four screws. And that's our cooler simple as that doesn't look very efficient no wonder it's overheating a little bit of IPA remove the old compound and make sure your heatsink is clean as possible and the CPU.
nice even layer of fresh thermal compound and we can put back the heatsink so you'll see some numbers on these legs one two three four that's the order in which they want you to tighten up the screws so what i recommend is do not tighten the screws all the way get them in a couple of turns because what we want is a nice even pressure on the heatsink So sort of to give it a turn on either corner and just keep going around in that one one two like putting the wheels on your car nice even pressure Sorted. While you're in here, always double check your screws for your hinges. They always seem to <coughs> come loose. On this particular laptop, everything seems to be perfect. Right, we've cleaned out the fan as best as we could. It seems to be turning much better now. If this doesn't work, no choice, we'll have to replace the cooling fan. Right, let's reconnect the battery and give it a test. So the battery connector connects down, pushes down, and then you just put, push the middle clasp that way. So that just stops the battery from disconnecting. Okay, let's power it on. Fan spin. Nice and quiet. Fan speed is ramping up. I think without the back cover on here, there's no way to direct the airflow over the CPU. So let's get the back cover on. And I can actually feel the air coming out the side vent here now. So obviously this fan was so clogged up, it wasn't spinning machine overheated thermal paste dried up and obviously was going into thermal shutdown so let's have a quick look at the temperatures after our service sixty degrees we're talking about forty fifty degrees cooler than it was so we'll just do a nice cleanup of the screen and of the surface here, nice wipe down. I'll leave a link down in the description for any tools I used in the video. Thanks for watching. Remember there's always a fix and I'll see you in the next one.